BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, I'm Alastair Ross of BBC Sport and the Premier League champions Chelsea collected their first win of the new season with a 2-1 victory over fierce rivals Tottenham at Wembley Stadium. Manager Antonio Conte says his players showed great character. For sure uh, a big win. It's not easy to play against Tottenham uh, away and, uh, and uh, to win. I think an amazing performance uh, for character, for desire, uh, for uh, for will to fight uh, all my players. And for this reason, I want to tell thanks to everyone. Marcus Alonso scored both Chelsea goals, the second coming after a mistake from the Tottenham goalkeeper Hugo Lloris. At this distance uh, and with this angle, uh, when you are keeper, uh, you know you you can't concede that, that kind of goal. But uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the ball uh, slipped under my body, and, um, and you know, and then it's part of the job. It, uh, it's football, and when you are goalkeeper, it, yeah, the, the, the luck was not uh, inside. Yeah. Huddersfield made it back-to-back wins to start their Premier League season as they beat Newcastle 1-0. Australian midfielder Aaron Moy scoring the only goal of the game to leave Huddersfield second in the table behind Manchester United only on goal difference. Here's manager David Wagner. It was the first Premier League home game in the club history and the club is more than 100 years old so it was a special day. I was very happy with the, with the performance in the defence and then we had this one great moment from Aaron Moy where we scored the winner and this was enough today because our good togetherness, our good work road, a workload in the defence to keep them away from, from our goal and to be successful. And Manchester City midfielder Samir Nasri is in talks to join the Turkish side Antalya Spor on a two-year contract. The France international won two league titles, an FA Cup and two League Cups during his time at the club. For more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com football. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football.